Taiwanese manufacturing giant Foxconn plans to build a factory in Malaysia, a little-known semiconductor hub, to make chips for the ever-expanding field of electric vehicles. Foxconn's Malaysian partner, Dogong Ni Exchange, said in a filing with stock exchange Bursa Malaysia that it had signed a memorandum of understanding with Big Innovation Holdings, a subsidiary of the iPhone assembler, to set up a joint venture in the Southeast Asian country. According to media reports, Foxconn and Dagang Ni Exchange are building a semiconductor factory for electric vehicles. The joint venture will build a fabrication plant specializing in the mature technologies of 28 nanometer and 40 nanometer process nodes, capable of producing up to 40 wafers per month. I believe Foxconn conducted its cost-benefit analysis before making such a decision, says Darson Chu, a re. Goods made in Malaysia can sell in China, the U.S. and Southeast Asia free of political constraints, he says. Manufacturing in Southeast Asia will not only lower the costs but also deviate from the U.S. China competition and conflicts, Chu adds. Malaysia, Chu notes, has Southeast Asia's most advanced IT capabilities and it's important, because then Foxconn can recruit and train local technicians to kick off production. The Southeast Asian nation represents an emerging tech hub that's sheltered from the Sino-U.S. trade dispute. The four-year-old dispute has imposed tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars in each country's products. About 37% of Malaysia's exports of goods comprise electrical and electronic products, notes Rajiv Viswas, executive director and Asia-Pacific chief economist at S&P Global Market Intelligence. Malaysia accounts for an estimated 13% of the global capacity for semiconductor assembly, dusting and packaging, he says. Foxconn's decision to build a major semiconductors facility in Malaysia reflects the high priority being given by electronics firms to diversification of their supply chains for